Okay, so we are in a Ludlow. A Ludlow. Still a red Row, Abbey Fields at Priorsley Telford. Uh, and this is a three bed semi. A three bedroom semi, so a little bit smaller than what we've just been viewing. Yeah. But it's just to have a look back at the hallway. It's a lovely hallway. It's a lovely spacious. One thing I have noticed about Red Row is the spacious hallways, yeah, and the, the high ceilings, the so tall very, very skirting high. boards, and like the storage. It. I do like this. We all should keep Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. Right, so I be probably toilet. Yeah. Oh, it's a decent Cloak room. room. Actually. Yes. Because they've gone for the corner sink, it makes mm. it look bigger. So radiator, um, sink. It's a tall window that's very, very high up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's really spacious. Right, we're going to take our coats off because it's very warm it in is. these houses. Right, so with coats off, we're going to hang them somewhere on the door. Um, so let's just have a... I think the um, the integrated mats are actually an optional extra yeah. here at Red Row. Uh, so you've got your... looks like a thermostat. You've got a burglar alarm, so security alarm. Socket. You've got a security letterbox. Uh, security peephole, um, some glazed window, and security latch. Hmm. Should we see the living room? Let's go see the living room. It's a, it's a decent size, to be fair. For a oh, fashion, yes. It's, it's actually quite quite a wide, spacious mm. room, isn't it? It's not got the bay window, but it doesn't still feel like a flat in here. No, I like the colours as well, actually. Mm. No, because you've got room for a nice two-seater here. here. It's a little bit of a... Um, a wall that comes out, so you couldn't have, for example, a sofa running all the way along that wall. You've got the door there, so you couldn't have one perhaps no. running all the way along there. You could have a um, table here. There's enough yes. space, the door doesn't come too Or far. perhaps you could change where you have your media points. Uh, so there's all switches here. I don't know whether you can, but maybe you could ask yeah. them to be changed to put on that wall. So your TV's over there. And then you've got a big wall for a big sofa. Yeah. And, or a corner sofa. But yes, no, I a, like this. It's a, it's a decent size in room, to be fair. Yes. It's, it's quite big. The window is big. It's yeah. not a bay window. But I, I don't think it feels it's lacking because it's not a bay window. No. A nice long radiator. Curtains that go all the way across as well from the top. Yeah. Snug. Yeah, and do you know what? I prefer these kind of white windows, I think, to the leaded yeah. windows. I think I slightly prefer those. But no, it feels very crisp, modern, fresh. The finish is lovely. The finish is lovely. The doors are nice white. In fact, it's been the same doors in all of the Red Row homes. Yeah. So I don't think they do a different door. No, but it's a nice door to be fair. It, it is. Yeah. Um, again, we have no sales particulars, so we can't give you room sizes, but I will put them in the description because they're not giving out the, um, well, Red Row are not giving out the information pack because of COVID safety restrictions. Okay, I like this room. Should we move on to the kitchen? Or actually, I can see storage. <laughs> I see storage. I like storage. So I think, oh no, is that the alarm system there? Uh, and there's some, possibly the fuse box there. Possibly, yeah. It's a bit awkward to get to that fuse yeah, box, though. Yeah, but it, it, a perfectly reasonable mm. cupboard. You could put shoes in it. Yep. Or whatever. Mm. And then we've got a quite nice size kitchen background. Actually. Yeah. Oh, this is very similar to the... To the other one. Yeah, but a little bit shorter. Yeah. Again, this is a nice... So oh, look at the radiator. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, wow. That's quite a nice radiator. Mm. Um, I haven't actually seen one of those kind of feature radiators no. in a modern show home before. I don't know if it's extra or not. Hmm? I'm getting a lovely bit of hail. Oh, we are getting a little bit of hail here in Telford Priorsley today. Garden looks nice, by the way. It does. Nice purdle. Now, obviously, the garden doesn't come like this. No, but it's a good um, exam. Depth. It's a good example of what you can do. Yeah, it's a lovely depth as well. Yeah, and there would, of course, be a fence. I think so be half. across here, yeah, half. Um, nice tall windows. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look in the cupboards. We've got a so you found the dishwasher. Are they AEG? Yes. yes. AEG. You've got lovely little cupboard. Yeah. Which is this? Oh, just under the sink. Under cupboard. the cupboard. Not soft clothes. No, they're not soft clothes in this no. range. Okay. Yeah. Cupboard. Now they've got a nice wide cutlery drawer. They do. For every type of spoon you can imagine. AEG hob, I've just noticed. Yeah, pan drawers. 
I quite like the like the black yeah. walls around them as well. Two tone units. Yeah. We've just got bog standard corner. Yeah. Goes right the way down. Probably somewhere to put your glasses. Yeah. And mugs. Plates or whatever. Yeah. Same Food. <laughs> Um, there's nice space for a, a, a microwave or something yeah. over there. Double cupboard. Yeah. It's quite nice. Ooh, a nice sliding out like larder that. cupboard, which is nice. We've got a upper cupboard. We do. We have a lower cupboard. AEG double oven. Yeah. And, then, and grill. What's this? Oh, fridge freezer. Yeah. By Zanussi. Yeah. So the appliances are good. Um, again, you could choose your size of table. You could have a bigger one. Uh, you could even have a sofa, maybe down the other end, if you want it to be a kind of living family kitchen. Um, would also benefit if you put an orangery or conservatory off the back yeah. at some point. But yeah, no, it's, it's really lovely. Uh, so you've got the sink with a kind of middle area. Uh, I think this is not granite or quartz here, but you could probably upgrade. Yeah. They have quite an extensive upgrade list. So the kitchen, oh, we have some prices. Ooh. Kitchen flooring to kitchen and dining, um, Antico White Oak, 2,270 at the time of this going to um, print, I suppose. Dishwasher, 585, so that's not included. Tumble dryer, 715. And washing, washing machine, 765. I don't know. Where is, that's actually a very good point. Where is the washing machine? Um, but look, there's an... Optional multi-room downlights. Which I think might be these. Maybe, could be those. 1,615. For four lights? Could also mean these spotlights. That might be the chrome finish around them. Could also be the spotlights. Because I imagine they're balconies. Oh, is there a cupboard for a utility? Oh. I can see I can see a hidden room. Hidden room. Is this the utility multi-room? Yes. It is. So they stacked two Siemens appliances, dish, um, a washing machine and tumble dryer. There. Is it vented? Uh, yes, there is a vent behind the... Yeah, there's, there's a vent. So I think it's safe to have them in a cupboard that size. But if you want their appliances, you pay extra. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Let's move on. Move on. After you, my dear. Thank you all very much. Let's go up the stairs. There's a light. No. Okay. That might be. <laughs> nice turn staircase with the white railings and the kind of oak banister. A window so we oh, can. Spy on the neighbours. Yeah, I'll show the window in a minute. Um, there you go, there's the window. So it makes it quite a nice light and bright um, landing and stairs. Yeah. So this that. must be the third bedroom. Yeah, a single bed. Oh. Yeah. I don't know, it's like a little, little kiddie's room. Oh, a little piggy. Hello, I think little this is piggy. a doorstop, actually. Quite <laughs> It probably is. <laughs> so, plenty of room for a single bed or a cot. Yeah. Could be a study. Very easily. But they've actually managed to get quite a lot of furniture in here. Oh, yeah. So, so it doesn't feel... So it's not a bad size. Small. Uh, if you want the carpet to all the bedrooms, they're saying it's 1595 Or, of course, you can have it without flooring and buy your own. They are still developing the site over here, so there will be neighbours at some point. Yeah. Lovely. We'd probably use it as a study. Definitely. I think. Or Bo's playroom. <laughs> oh, Bo's that little kitty. Um, ooh, second bedroom, maybe? Yeah. Ooh, someone's been to New York. <laughs> <laughs> so, perfect size for just a regular bed. There is yeah. some space here where you could put some storage. Yeah. Lovely view again of the outside. <laughs> yeah, which they're still developing at the moment, so it's yeah. still not finished. But there we go. Hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, I think there's a hidden wardrobe. Oh, there is a hidden wardrobe. <laughs> I, di I didn't see that. Who is she? I didn't see the hidden wardrobe. <laughs> so it's obviously an alcove, which they fitted out. So all the wardrobes, I believe, are Hammonds. Yes. And I think they are all extras. So they are. if you didn't have that, there would be an alcove where you could buy your own, put your own in. Whatever. Oh. Yeah, so I like this room. Yeah, it's very nice. It's lovely. Ooh, I see storage. Oh, we like storage. Okay, so obviously over the stairs. Boiler. Boiler, a valent boiler. You could put shelves in here. It's very deep, quite a yeah. tall cupboard. Like lovely. that. Uh, master. Master bedroom. Oh, we do, we do have an ensuite. We do. We also have 
lots of inbuilt storage. Oh, wow. So, so we've got these lovely cupboards. Yeah, at the foot of the bed. And there's also hidden mm. storage. So again, you don't have to have these. The which is a good use of space, actually. So that obviously yeah. backs onto the other cupboard. So again, if you didn't have the wardrobes, this room would be actually very, very big. It would be large. But I think it benefits the room having them because yeah. storage is already sorted. Yeah, the wardrobes are £1,670. Okay, it gives you an idea of how much, what the costs mm. are. Um, yeah. Right, there's a it's a useful room. space there as well, and a little alcove. I was going to say it's small on suite, but it's got a very wide shower. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, no rainfall shower, but I'm kind of getting used to that, <laughs> that notion. Uh, shall I go in? Oh, it's a nice slide door. I prefer the slide doors to the concertina. Yeah. But it does feel very spacious when you're inside. Yeah. It's actually a very nice ensuite. By the way, you can hear my shoes <laughs> creaking. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. The It feels like a quality fixtures and fittings, definitely. It does. Soft closed toilet. The mirror, 265 if you want it. Yeah. Floor tiles, 520. Wow. So, I mean, it does give you the flexibility to have what you want. Yeah, yeah. You can mix and match what you want and what you don't want. Hello, it's just us. Uh, but yeah, this is a good size master bedroom for the UK. So we do have lots of viewers that are not from the UK and our homes are not typically as big. No, land is expensive here. Yeah. We're only a small island. Family bathroom. Ooh, but it's nice. It is nice. Oh, and this opens. It does. Very easily. So it's easy to clean. Yeah. Um, regular shower. I like the tiles. Mm. Very nice and fresh. Well. The bath quite, looks quite big and deep. So yeah. you can have a nice big soak. Having a look in there. Um, nice little toilet. toilet. The towel rail behind. Obviously, I didn't see that. So when you got the door shut, it's still actually quite spacious. Yeah. Uh, you could get maybe a laundry basket in the corner. Yes, put, you could also put a cabinet actually above. Yeah, above the loom. And there is the extractor fan above there as well. There is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I think. Oh, floor tiles are six hundred and twenty pounds. Wow. If you wanted those as extras. So that's everywhere. It is. Let's go back down to the kitchen. Okay. Also, if you wanted the mat, which is there, it's three hundred and fifteen pounds. Carpet to the hall. 415. Carpet to stairs and landing, 825. And the burglar alarm is 975. Why only wear 350? <laughs> no. But it's good because you can mix and match. Yes. Exactly what you want. We've just noticed if you want a rear outside light, it's 175. And if you want turf and an outside tap, it's £1,015. So the turf and the outside tap do not come as standard. Okay, so what do we think of this home? It's lovely, to be fair. Yeah. It's a really nice three beds, I mean. I think it's a really nice either a starter home or if you've got maybe one small child, yeah. um, it would be a perfect size or a couple. Yeah. Or if you're looking to downsize even. Yeah. Uh, maybe if you're if you're retired and you want a perfectly serviceable home, this, 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 this is it. This would be it. It's yeah. lovely. Or even if you're using it as a base to go exploring, if you're retired, uh, I think this would be a lovely home. Yeah. So this gets our seal of approval. Yay.